Example 5, water flows uniformly in a trapezoidal channel with a 4.8 meter wide bed and slope to horizontal to one vertical side slopes. If the bed slope is 1 over 4,400, determine uh, depth 2.75 meters and roughness coefficient 0 0.015, determine the discharge, the specific energy, and the shear stress of the boundary. So this is the figure. Slope of the side is 2 horizontal to 1 vertical. So I'll call this x, x, the top width is b. Width at the bed is 4.8 meters and the depth of low 2.75. So from the figure, x as to 2 equals 2.75 as to 1. And the formula is area over n hydraulic radius to the 2 thirds slope to the 1 half for the discharge. So x as to 2 equals 2.75 as to 1, therefore x is 5.5 meters. The top width therefore is 4.8 plus 2x, 4.8 plus 2 times 5.5, so that's 15.8 as shown in the figure. So area therefore is 1 half of quantity 15.8 plus 4.8 times 2.75, this is 28.325 square meters. The wetted perimeter is 4.8 plus 2 times this slanted side that is wetted. 4.8 plus 2 times square root of x square, which is 5.5 square plus 2.75 square. So 17.098 meters. Therefore, the hydraulic radius is 28.325 over 17.098, so 1.657 meters. Substitute into the formula. Q equals area 28.325 over N.015 times the hydraulic radius 1.657 to the 2 thirds, then slope 1 over 4,400 to the 1 half. So the discharge can now be computed. It is 39.86 cubic meters per second. The specific energy is velocity head plus depth. Where the mean velocity of flow is discharge over area. Discharge 39.86, area 28.325, so 1.407 meters per second. So substitute 1.407 square over 19.62 plus depth of flow 2.75. So the specific energy is 2.851 meters. Finally, the shear stress of the boundary, specific weight of water, hydraulic radius times slope of the channel bed, which is also the slope of the energy guideline for uniform flow. So 9,810, hydraulic radius 1.657, slope 1 over 4,400. So the shear stress of the boundary is 3.694 pascals.